Hello YouTube. Um, if you watched my last video about the, the installation and configuration of cups, then you will be probably interested in this video. In this video, I'll drive it a little bit further and show you how to integrate uh, cups with Samba and share the printer uh, with your Windows uh, computers. You know, if you have a Windows network like like I have here at home, and uh, you want want to have a, uh, a Unix, Linux uh, print server and share your printers, um, that's how you do it. So just follow me and uh, show you what you have to do. First, you gotta install um, Samba and its components. And to do that, you enter sudo apt-get install Samba and then samba-common and then uh, samba-common-bin and also recommend winbind if you have a, um, a domain controller, a Windows domain controller and want to use uh, um, password authentication um, through Samba to a Windows domain controller, you gonna need that as well. So you enter here, um, also provide your password, enter, and then it will install this package. In my case, I already installed it. And then after the installation is done, um, we gotta have a look at the Samba configuration file. And to do that, enter sudo nano, and then the configuration file is located under etc samba and then the file is smb.conf <clears throat> it's a very very basic um, samba configuration and there are just a few key points you have to uh, be uh, very sure what you what you said otherwise it won't work now the very first one under the uh, directive global we see here there's the work group yeah, you gotta match that up with the work group, whatever you use at home or at work or wherever you want to use the, this kind of setup. Yeah, in my case, it's just a plain basic work group, and then the next one would be the uh, the server string, which is not very important. But if you wanna have your Windows server, um, uh, the Samba server, show up under the Windows network neighborhood, you should pr put something in here. That will identify that server and it's easy for you to find your print share or file share whatever you do with samba the next one if you don't have a domain controller like like in my network i just have a couple uh, windows workstations you should use the security set to share that doesn't require any authentication or uh, any password uh, requests or nothing and then the next one is uh, name resolve order. Um, in the most networks at home, I assume not a lot of people have a DNS server, and uh, so in my case, and um, you probably want to maintain a little host file. Uh, every computer has a host file, like Windows and Linux, and you want to edit this host file and um, put your workstations or servers or in particular your service in there with the IP address I will show you in on uh, my Linux system how it looks like and uh, that's how um, your workstations and your server use some kind of name resolution and the next one the next two basically are very important the print cap name has to uh, set to cups because cups is the print server and the printing system here printing has to be equal to cups as well um, so someone knows it has to use cups for its printing um, backend and then next one uh, it's very nice feature you should uh, say it the same way I did it um, show at printer wizard equals yes so if I, I was not able to figure it out yet but if someone knows how to um, implement the printer driver uh, support in Samba please send me an email I post my email on my blog or post something on my blog or on my YouTube channel 
and uh, tell me how to do it and then I will make a little video about it but I like to see this printing wizard so I know um, that uh, Samba is set up correctly and then basically the next directive is the most important one that is the printer's directive the printer's directive um, will create a share where all Samba um, cups configured printers will show in a Windows neighborhood yeah, so we have to set it browsable to yes so we can browse through the network neighborhood and see it and then we gotta tell them basically all the shares that are shown are printable that means they're printers so we gotta set that to yes as well and then um, we make it public so that everybody in your network is able to use that printer and print to it and create mode we said uh, 0700 so that the owner of that print shop can manage the print job and cancel it or reprint or whatever nobody else yeah wouldn't be very secure if everybody has access to it and like say you, you set it up at work and uh, you can reprint the stuff from the, like the payroll from your boss and you know it's not very secure so and then guests only um, I would set that to yes because we're using a sharing security so and Windows sharing is always using the guest uh, as a connection um, authentication type and then the next one is the use client driver equals no I set it now to no um, so because I'm not supplying any uh, printer drivers yet but if I do then we probably if I understand that correctly, we have to set that to yes, and then Sunbar has also the drivers available. And then the last part uh, is the path equals temp. That's where uh, Samba uses the print shops to spool until they're printed. So we save that configuration, and then we gotta make sure that we restart after we change the configuration file uh, Samba. So we go to uh, etc in the dot d and enter samba and say restart and then wait until the job is uh, restarted and then i uh, prepared here my windows vm and show it in here and go to start my computer and then go to network places view work group computers that you should see your samba or print server and then you see there's a print wizard and there are your printers now you can just double click that printer it will install and start the wizard to install and then the only thing it's not working I mentioned earlier is the automatic printer driver uh, uh, supply so you gotta uh, get an error message there so you ignore that and choose your own drivers and 